Welcome to V-Drum Tips. Buying a used V-Drum kit is a great solution if you want to play a good electronic drum kit and save some money at the same time. Roland drums last forever. They are reliable and so much fun to play, even if they are a few years old. But how can you be sure if everything is okay with the kit? We created a checklist which will help you to buy a used V-Drum kit and not getting tricked. You can download and print out this checklist and take it with you. It is always better to collect a kit. You should be able to play and see the kit. The seller should give you the possibility and enough time to check it out. The kit should be fully assembled and ready to play. You should bring your sticks, headphones and a jack adapter, in case the seller doesn't have them. Don't appear without those things. And of course, don't forget our checklist. Have a look at the overall condition. What is your first impression of the kit? Does it look clean or dusty? Are there any rusty spots on the metal parts? Switch on the module and start playing. Press every single button even if you don't know their functions. Play around with the settings. Don't worry if you're changing anything. You can do a factory reset later on. Also check all plugs. Are any of them loose? Are there any incidents for liquid on the module? Is the LCD screen okay? The hi-hat pedal is one of the weakest parts of the V-Tram kit. These FD8 pedals are usually faulty after a while. Reasons for that could be a stiff rubber cord or a broken sheet sensor. We have fixing solutions for both problems. Make sure the spiky screws are not missing. All Roland cymbals have at least two trigger zones. You should be able to hear them both. Check if the choke function is working. Some of their right symbols have even three zones. Don't forget to test the choke on the hi-hat symbol. Make sure the symbols are attached by a CYM10 rotation stopper set. They shouldn't spin, otherwise it's not an original Roland mount. How does the rubber look like? Are there cracks or wasted spots? Check the mesh head for damages like holes and dirt. Are there any signs for liquid? How about the rim rubber? Is it in a good condition? Are the rim screws rusty? All Roland snare pads have two zones. Check out if you can hear both head and rim sound. Check the tom pads for cracks if they are made out of rubber. Tom pads are usually dual trigger pads on middle class retrum kits like the TD12. Check if every pad provides head and rim sound. The kick pad should have all its screws. Make sure the spiky screws are there and nothing is rusty. The cables shouldn't have kinks, be taped or any other damages. Cables are fixable if you are able to solder. Make sure the blocks are not loose or the cable hasn't been stretched. The rack. Look for scratches and check out if every screw is in place. Are there any clamps missing? What about the simple stands? Are they in a good working condition? Is any part damaged or bended? And here are some reasons to not buy the kit. You shouldn't buy the kit if you clearly see rests or marks of liquid on the module. Liquid damages cannot be fixed in most cases. If electrical parts get in contact with water, they will grow salt crystals and they cause short circuits after a while. Damaged electronic parts related to the module are critical. Electronic repairs are complicated and not always possible. 
The metal plates of kick or hi-hat pedals are totally rusty. That could mean the kit was placed in a wet area. Maybe an indicator for more damages? Most of the other issues are fixable if you are a handy person. We provide a lot of videos on how to fix broken Roland gear. But you still need to be able to improvise. Both spare parts and repairs can be expensive. If you still want to buy a kit with normal damages, try to push the price. Some general tips when buying second hand. Ask why the person is selling the kit. Have a look at the negative ratings if you want to buy online. Never buy under time pressure. Ask why the person is selling. Thanks for watching. Leave us a like and check out the other videos. See you next time.